ranking the top 10 starting lineups in the NBA today. The NBA is full of talented lineups that aren't to be played around with. The top 10 lineups can fluctuate greatly, and that is what makes the NBA so great. Every offseason, the NBA can change drastically in free agency, with superstars creating hope for whatever franchise they choose. Even in the draft, there could be a superstar that revitalizes a franchise that couldn't even dream of going to the playoffs the year prior. So today, we're going to rank the top 10 starting lineups in the NBA as of right now. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more baller content. Let's roll! Coming in at number 10, the Boston Celtics with Kemba Walker, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Gordon Hayward, and Ennis Cantor. And with rising star hopeful Jalen Brown and the genius Brad Stevens, this proves to be a very nice squad. With a disappointing season with Kyrie, the Celtics had to go with a new point guard that could somewhat fill that leadership role. I believe they did that with Kimball Walker. Kimball Walker provides the scoring ability the Celtics need from a star. Added with Kimba's great leadership ability, this was a great signing for the Celtics. And now with co-star Gordon Hayward healthy again after his brutal injury. Before his horrific injury, Hayward was being looked at as a developing star on the Celtics, with every Boston fan reaching towards the ceiling with each amazing play. Marcus Smart is an excellent role player that just needs to become more consistent with his scoring ability. The young player that everyone has hopes for, however, is Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown definitely needs to grow as an NBA player, but we are all confident in his ability to be an amazing player for this historic organization. Of course, choosing this lineup was a hard one to make, with the Pacers and Nuggets being really close, but I have faith that this Boston squad will be good for years to come. At number 9, the Utah Jazz. The Jazz's starting five includes Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Bohan Bogdanovich, and Rudy Gobert. With franchise players Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley, the Jazz are a rising team that could potentially be top five in a few years. Joe Ingles has proven to be a solid veteran that can be relied on as a role player. Even though the Jazz may be looking to replace him with younger talent in the future, he's a good player in this lineup. In the defensive front, Rudy Gobert and Bohan Bogdanovic can absolutely hold it down. Even though it's a question mark if Gobert will be on the team in the future, he's one of the top centers in the league and defensive player of the year. And with their extremely talented bench with Jordan Clarkson and Royce O'Neal, this team would probably be ranked higher if it wasn't purely based off of their starting five. At number eight, the Portland Trailblazers. This starting five includes Damian Lillard, CJ McCollum, Trevor Ariza, Carmelo Anthony, and Hassan Whiteside. Now we all know that Dame Time is an absolute monster when the game is on the line. Paired with CJ McCollum, these two have carried this franchise on their back for the past few years. Now, Portland has built this starting lineup with power pieces in Hassan Whiteside and Carmelo Anthony. This squad is capable of being David in David vs. Goliath, with the ability to knock out any team with its defensive and offensive firepower. As long as Dame is around, this team will always be a force to reckon with in the postseason. At number 7, the Dallas Mavericks, with Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway Jr., Dorian Finney-Smith, Chris Tapps Porzingis and Boban Marjanovic, this team is going to be special. If Mark Cuban can work his magic and sign another absolute stud at the starting five, then watch out. Luka has proven to be an all-star. With an absurd ability to score, this kid is going to be someone to watch for many years to come. On top of that, Chris Tapps Porzingis has been a force in the league ever since Knicks fans booed him at the draft. The Mavs are incredibly fortunate for the circumstances that put them in position to sign Przingis. Additionally, Boban is a defensive beast that demands respect on the court. With the two good role players in Tim Hardaway Jr. and Dorian Finney-Smith, it wouldn't be surprising if the Mavs went deep into the postseason next season. At number 6, a team that should be higher on this list, the Philadelphia 76ers. This starting five includes Ben Simmons, Josh Richardson, Tobias Harris, Al Horford, and Joel Embiid. This lineup is insane! With the entire lineup being potential all-stars, the 76ers aren't a team to underestimate. A player that should get more recognition is Josh Richardson, who will definitely become a premier player on this squad. All-stars Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons can absolutely put a game on their shoulders, but with this squad being as well-built as it is, they aren't forced to. 
Al Horford is another player that doesn't get enough recognition because of both Simmons and Embiid. Horford is a veteran center that plays dirty in the paint. With Horford and Embiid guarding at the basket, the 76ers defense is scary. This team has the potential to go far in the postseason. Now for our top five. Starting with the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks starting lineup includes Eric Bledsoe, Wes Matthews, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Brooke Lopez. Giannis is already in debate for the best player on the planet at 25 years old. And with an MVP title on his shoulders, there's a very good reason to put him up there in that debate. This lineup is overall very good. However, Chris Middleton is one player I wouldn't be surprised if the Bucks traded away. He hasn't exactly lived up to his contract, and I'm expecting the Bucks to seek out more from him if they want to keep Middleton. Besides that, the other players on this lineup are proven players. With scorers Bledsoe and Wes Matthews, Giannis won't have to be the only one scoring baskets. Brooke Lopez should be recognized more for his defensive ability. This is a team that is one player away from being primed for a championship. At number four, the Houston Rockets with Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Eric Gordon, Robert Covington, and P.J. Tucker. This team on paper is set up to be a god squad. With two MVPs, this should be a multi-championship winning team. However, even though Westbrook and Harden have played together in the past, since separating, both their games have evolved and they are both alphas. Everyone knows these two players run their offense by always having the ball. But if somehow there is a perfect mix between these two MVPs, then dang, it will always be fun to watch. They have great role players in Eric Gordon and PJ Tucker. And Robert Covington, when on point, can do some serious damage. Watch out for the Rockets. Coming in at number three, starting with the Golden State Warriors when healthy, the holy team includes Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, and Marquise Chris. This lineup is weird to rank because we are all still not quite sure what the starting lineup will be. With no clear center, I'm not sure who will be at the five spot. Besides that, this is a dynamic duo show now. Both Steph and Klay are called the Splash Brothers for a reason. With the great forward in Draymond Green and the question mark in Andrew Wiggins, this should always be a respected lineup. The only weakness and issue may be their bench depth. But don't write off the Warriors, though, just yet. Coming in at number two. I imagine you all can guess these two teams right now, starting with the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm going to be using what will most likely be their closing game lineup, which includes Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and Montrez Harrell. The acquisition of Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard and superstar Paul George make this a no-brainer. This team was the reason many were super excited for this year's season. The dynamic between Kawhi and Paul George is what I imagine to be one of the best in the league. Patrick Beverly capable of shutting down almost any guard, and Lou Williams is a killer six-man in the NBA. And to think that Montrez Harrell is number five makes this lineup intimidating to the max. Superstar defense all over the court, along with superpower offense, should make this to be an amazing team to watch especially against the next lineup on this list. And now for our number one starting lineup. The top team on the list, the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers lineup includes LeBron James, Danny Green, Kyle Kuzma, Anthony Davis, and JaVel McGee. This should come to nobody's surprise. Say what you may, but LeBron is arguably the best player in the NBA right now, hands down. Anywhere he goes, a championship follows. And with the added superstar Anthony Davis, this team is over the top amazing. Kyle Kuzma has been developing into a good three for this team and is well on his way to becoming a star for years to come. Danny Green has been a great role player for many years and JaVale McGee is an elite defender. The basketball IQ in this lineup alone is impressive and this team has the tools to win a championship. This lineup should be an absolute highlight reel whenever they're on the court. The Battle of LA is going to be fireworks every time with the headlines being LeBron versus Kawhi. Whenever the NBA season starts up again, we are all in for a show. Is there a starting five that should be on this list? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, now that you're here, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. And remember, 
turn notifications on to receive more amazing sports content. We hope you enjoyed our video. Anyway, have a nice one, and we'll see you next time at Ballo Central.